Okay. I uh, I got the skibby. And the reason for the three-day cocoon. See, I got to get information about uh, where the world is. And uh, get brought up to speed to the world. So he's going to be able to tell me all that. But he can't do that. And me do the classes because of the proof thing. So it's like... Uh, I have to go offline so that uh, we don't violate the proof rule for uh, before Christmas Eve. And uh, I guess it's going to take like three days to get me up to speed. Uh, because if I know, knew that and then came on and told you guys that, it would be proof. And so that's the reason why we can't do our little chats no more. But... Uh, He's got that covered, and we're going to be doing that. So what I'm supposed to do now is give you the big recap, okay? Just so that everybody knows where I stand and what, what happened in the uh, generalized picture of uh, my crazy world of uh, from that piece of paper to right now on the bed. So... Uh, it might take a couple minutes. It's not a lot of things. It's just the highlights uh, of the uh, Twilight Zone. Patrick's Twilight Zone. Because, uh, see, after I wrote that piece of paper, that's when I realized I'm going on this mission. Put the house up for sale. Had a uh, realtor come and look at it. And uh, we'd already was going to sell it before, but we... I wanted to keep it. I didn't want to get rid of it. I got rid of her. <laughs> <coughs> I moved her into an apartment for a few months. Uh, but that wasn't working either because it, 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 you couldn't get rid of her. It was still on the title. All right. Well, anyway, put her up for sale and uh, called the realtor back for a second time. Said, yeah, we, we're going to sell it this time. He's like, okay, let's uh, let's get some paperwork started, and I'll get a show date going. And I'm like, okay. Uh, we showed it uh, on that day, and five friggin' offers. And uh, one wanted to pay the whole damn thing. Like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it just like it is. And another one came behind him and was like, well, I want it too. Well, you can't have it. He's already paid the full price. Well, I'll pay more. Okay, um, all right, yeah, let's go with that. And uh, so ended it up selling it for a ridiculous 44 some friggin' thousand more than I bought it for just two years earlier, or three, whatever the hell it was. And uh, gave her her half, and I took my half, 22, and I went on a road trip. First thing I did was go down to see my son. In Vegas, I thought maybe I'll give it a shot there. I'll live in Vegas again. And seven days later, I'm like, hell no, I am not living in this town. No, 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 no. I forgot how freaking hot it is there. It is hot. Has anybody ever been there when it's hot? It's hot. And it wasn't even hot yet. It was a, it was up the, 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 the spring yet. And I was like, uh, hell no, 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 no. And besides, my son was so busy, and uh, uh, those poor kids and her, them, I mean, they lived in a compound, practically. You should have stayed in their house. It was like, okay, wow. Um, how do I get in? Uh, I'll, I'll come out and open the gate for you, son, or father. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, okay. All right, I, I, I can't stay here. I, I got to go somewhere else. You know, finding an apartment as a sex offender is a bitch. A royal bitch. Uh, turns out no apartments will rent to you. No management company will let you into their place. Um, yeah, I get only the best housing uh, because I was a registered offender. And uh, so it did make things difficult. Especially when I decided to leave Vegas and go on to Fort Worth, 
where my other children were. And uh, same problem. Uh, you're a vendor. Uh, sorry, we cannot rent to you. No, you are a low life. Get the hell out of here. You are a low life. No, no, no. And then another no. Finally settled on a friggin' motel room. I could buy a friggin' place and you get a bit. Okay, I'll get a motel room. And uh, the father, uh, he really working on me then. He had me all hyped up. I had the plans of the universe in my head. I knew the answers to string theory, dark matter, dark energy, and black holes. And I was going to show the world that God was real. I was. I had it all. I wandered the Texas streets with my Where's Waldo before Where's Waldo even existed, people. Oh, you should have seen me out there. Can't remember the name of the street I cruised, but uh, let me tell you, I was proud. I was a Where's Waldo all the way. Dude, I cruised that sheet just like I was. I was the son of God. I did. I really did. I went to my uh, ex-wife's house, pulled her husband out of the bathroom, and told him, come out here. I want to tell her something. Come here. I put my arm around him. I said, you know this man here? He's a blessing. He 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 is an awesome person, God tells me. And uh, he wanted me to make sure and tell you that. Monica, I want you to know that she is, he is a, he's a, he's an awesome guy. And she's looking at me, oh my God, we might have to call an ambulance for this dude. Uh, straight jacket? I don't know. Um, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm the son of God. What are you talking about? I am, Jesus is my brother. Yeah. Swear to God, true story, true story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, went to my daughter's to pick up my mail and tell her how credit companies were to be punished. Yeah, yeah, I did that one too. And, uh, oh, wow, Starbucks trips. Oh, my gosh, I did a Starbucks trips down there, dude. I, I, I don't know how much of that $22,000 they got, but they got a lot of it. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I got towards the end of that debit card to having any money on it, I just gave it to the Starbucks check right there in the drive through I'm like, yeah. Let them know I'm uh, I'm coming to get my kids or something like that. I I don't really remember exactly what I told her. That's more of what I got to get in these uh, this uh, download in the next three days. Um, but I told her something freaking crazy and gave her my debit card and uh, cruised on out of there all happy as can be, people. I really did. I was where's Waldo like you would not believe, and. Uh, then uh, reality kind of slapped me in the face like, oh, shit, now what have I done? I didn't have no money. I didn't have no way to get the frick out of town. I didn't know what the hell. Man, I went to a pawn shop and started unloading shit. Boy, that trailer got light after that. Yes, it did, folks. Uh, yeah, that was God's plan to save me. Yeah. Yeah. Brand new stuff pawn shop brand new anyway uh still didn't get enough money to get the hell out of dodge so uh i called that wonderful woman i was living with in idaho and she's like you spent all that money already uh yeah yeah i did yeah i did yeah i did uh i even got a trip over to the cop shop for a day they they checked me into the mental ward to find out that uh dude just loves god i what can we do i mean uh he 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 does have a mental history uh we've we've seen it in the prison system with him uh so uh yeah we we don't have a place for him so we're just gonna turn his dumb ass loose and let him go home with his son and girlfriend and her uh, her father in a rite of shame 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great time. I had a, I had a ball with that night. That that was a that was a memory moment. And uh, so uh, she sent me nine hundred bucks, and pretty much gave me that. Don't screw this up. Oh, you just are so worthless. Oh my goodness, how are you? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay. Get that 900 bucks and I get the hell out of Dodge. I <laughs> load up and uh, God's like, go back to your buddies. Go back to your buddies. We'll, we'll be all right back there. And uh, we'll, we'll get the world to come to speed to this. We, we just got to work with them. We got we to gotta get more information to them. They, they, they're dumb. What can we do? Uh, we got to get them figured out. So I get in that truck and I do that miracle journey one more time. I mean, this poor old truck, it went from Idaho to Vegas to Texas and then on up to Iowa. This some bitch is a 94 pickup, Chevy pickup. 170 some damn thousand miles on this thing. With a trailer with a ass heavy, oh shit! It was a miracle trip. It was a miracle trip. Yeah, mule made her though. She made her all the way into town. Um, yeah, there was one point where uh, I was getting kind of impatient and maybe a little over the speed limit, and uh, Scotty's up there telling God, "Hey, man, he's got to back her down. He's he's she's gonna blow. She's gonna blow." Sure enough, roll out the window, and there's a smoke rolling out. And I'm like, okay, yeah, all right, Father. Slow her down. All right. Turned out I got a little tranny leg. So since we're getting on the exhaust pipe, it was no big deal. But uh, she just ain't meant for them high speeds with all that damn weight. Uh, you know, I was getting impatient. You know, people, you got to know when you're pushing your equipment to its limits. And that's what I was doing. So we backed her down, and we were good. So anyway, cruise on up. Get on back to Iowa. And uh, roll into town. And... Uh, need a job i need a job i need a job and uh um again sex offender uh applying for jobs is uh, a little difficult finding housing friggin' difficult find out that uh not only uh do you have to register in iowa with uh you know the sheriff like in any other state uh but all the other states i only had to do it once a year uh this state i happen to have to do it Three or four times. I can't even remember now. It's a lot more. A lot more. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's just, they, they, they're a little tougher here. They, they do have a beautiful state and they, they meant well. They really did. It's just, you know, everybody thought they were ooh. I was an ooh. That's all it was. I was just an ooh. And, uh, they got me a motel room at the Musky Motel. Yeah, muskies. Yay! Not a very good place. This thing had a spot in the real middle of the floor. I swear there was a dead body there at one time. Or a big-ass coke spill. I don't know which. Didn't want to ask the question. Didn't want to know the answer. I just lived there. Okay? And uh, had to get that job. I uh, went out on the street that day, and uh, I'm like, Father, now what the hell? Where, where are we going? He says, pull on in here to Sherwin-Williams. I got an idea. And I'm like, okay, what do we got? He says, I bet you we can find something in there. So I go on in there and I talk to the boy at the counter. I'm like, I'm trying to find some work. He says, uh, well, there's some contractors. There's this one guy that might be able to get you some work. And uh, it was my boss, my landlord now. And I called him and set up appointment and he's like you know it's not easy work right boy it's uh it's coming on summer and it's hot and uh it's outside painting right hey dude i gotta work i gotta work so bring it on and uh yeah that's what i did i don't know if you've ever seen a or experienced in an iowa summer uh it's it's a little humid it's so freaking humid the corn sweats dude all right, yeah, the, the corn sweating makes it worse here, guys. I'm not kidding. It is humid. 50-some friggin' years old, outside, painting houses with a brush and a roller. And uh, moving up in the world. Yeah, 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 I did that. Uh, I did that the whole summer. 
And then that was coming to an end. He, uh, you know, that's a, th that's a seasonal thing. Um, and, uh, he, 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 he was nice though. He, he even had a rent plate room to rent for me that, uh, so I could get out of that damn motel room that I was living in. Um, uh, and, uh, so I got in here and, um, th there's a, my old boss that, uh, I had worked for at the button company that I'd called a couple months earlier just to chat with him i wanted to see how he was doing because the button company was pretty much on its last leg it was just about out the door i stopped by to see everybody over there we went from 40 people to like seven people and uh yeah it was uh she was on her way out and it's like a motor on its last two cylinders yep um talked with the owner and his daughter that day and uh found out his other daughter's gone one of my favorite friends well, anyway, uh, he called me out of the blue and asked me how things was going. And I was telling him, and I says, uh, yeah, but I'm kind of looking for work. You wouldn't happen to know somebody that get me a job at. And uh, he pointed me down to my wood shop. Yeah, he said, go down there and talk to these guys. They're always telling me they need somebody down there. You, you, shit, you're a hard worker, dude. I know you. You'll, you'll do good for them. And uh, he sent me down there. And uh, had an interview. Three bosses. I'm sitting there thinking, three bosses? There's three owners of this place? How big is this place? They got like seven employees with three owners. Okay, this is different. I have never seen this before. Uh, sure, yeah. Shit, I can build anything. Let's let's do this. Let's give it a shot. I, I'll give it a shot. And uh, hence, I started my woodshop world. And, uh, oh, the heavy lifting. Oh, man. You know, Jesus had to carry that cross. All right. Dude, let me tell you about a little project of ours. We had some steps at this fancy Han building of ours that we had to replace a bunch of them. Dude, I carried 40 freaking crosses plus in that project. Yeah, I got an awesome back because of it, too. I just love it. Yeah, I carried a, a lot of wood, that project. Just that one. Some bitten beams are freaking six feet long and 12 inches wide and three inches thick. Yeah. And not one. No, no. Oh, you'll all see them. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't replace all of them, but we did replace a lot of them. And uh, a bunch of other wood projects that uh, involve very long and big ass wood pieces. And uh, pretty much was at the point in my life where please just let me friggin' die. Okay, Lord? Please, just, I, I am so, re and everyone at work knew that too. Don't bother him. He just wants to die. Just let him be. He, he just wants to die. He's going out to smoke cigarettes. Hell yes, he wants to die, okay? Let him smoke his cigarettes, okay? The dude doesn't have nothing to live for. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Religiously, I went out there almost every hour, on the hour, to have a freaking cigarette. Can't smoke them in the shop. We got sawdust freaking everywhere. Yeah. Talk about a fire hazard. Yeah, yeah, you don't have a cigarette in the wood shop. That is just a major taboo. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Come whatever weather we had outside, I was out there. And sometimes I'd be like, oh, my gosh, it's so cold out there. It's almost bad enough to quit smoking. But uh, I'll be back. I'm going to have a cigarette. Yeah, that was my life. And that was when it was good. That was the good part of it all. Yeah, yeah. And then Thanksgiving came last year. And the Twilight Zone really started. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, did the Twilight Zone start that last Thanksgiving. I, uh, I was convinced that I was going to be raptured that Christmas, last Christmas. 
Uh, I believe I even got it on tape. I don't know if you guys got the records of that. I don't know who's when following. That's what I got to learn here in the next uh, three days. Uh, where where we and the world and me and all that. I I got to learn all that. But uh, I uh, I went to the Twilight Zone, and uh, I was sure I was going to be raptured last Christmas, and. Uh, and uh, exactly why I understood that, I do not know. That's the part where the plug wires got crossed many a time, many a time. Matter of fact, all year long, my plug wires have been crossed, and my reality has not been the same. And uh, then uh, I came to the famous uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend where... Uh, yeah, I uh, I signed in at the uh, psych ward as the last prophet God is sending. And uh, I'm crazy. Can you help me? Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what I'm going to do to myself if, if God's prophecy isn't true. Because Christmas he told me I was going to be dead and, and it didn't work out. And now he's telling me this. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. And that's what I did. And, uh, believe it or not, while I was in there, that's when I found out that, uh, I'm more than a prophecy or a prophet, but I can't exactly remember what he told me because, uh, suddenly I was okay. Let's okay. Let me out of here. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, everything's fine. Yeah. Systems check out fine. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're firing on all cylinders even though they were crossed as hell up there. And I left the uh, psych ward to go back to work and start firing up again. Only to have them things get all crossed up later on. I don't even know how long. See, that's that. it's a fog that uh, the, the summer, the because at one point uh, for quite a few days, I literally had every vision of everything that man has done to other men and murders and violence, and killing and burying and throwing in oceans, captivated and beaten and thrown in ditches, everything, every, every sin of man was thrown at me during those times. And he said, Jesus only had 40 days. I had more than 40 of them. Okay. It was friggin'. Turns out it was high council guys. Uh, yeah. Showing how awful God's children are. That's what it was. So I got all them visions to deal with. Yeah. And I was supposed to say stain. Uh, and all I wanted to do was friggin' die. And uh, I got confused there at points. I, I remember checking into the hospital, not knowing if it, God wanted me to die or if I wanted to die or who wanted me to die. But I'm thinking I'm supposed to die and I don't want to die. I, I, I probably need to come to the hospital. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. Yeah. Those ladies were so nice. Uh, I remember that when I, because I, I just bypassed our town. I was like, okay, they're going to send me there anyway. Let's just save the road trip with the ambulance crew. Uh, yeah, can you give me a ride up here? Yeah, yeah, we'll just cut out the middleman on this one. Uh, I'm just going straight up crazy town and uh, check right in. Yeah, it save a lot of time. And that's what I did. Uh, it was uh, and twice, I, three times. I don't even know anymore. Because, uh, like I said, that whole time was a, a bit of a mess in my head. And uh, I had to uh, spend a lot of time with the father on that one. He uh, I, he was the one crossing my damn cross wires, or wire, no, my spark plug wires, but uh, he was also helping me. It, it, it's funny, but it's it wasn't. It was pure torture. And uh, getting released and not having any money 
telling me I can't work and I'm trying to get food stamps. I'm trying to get unemployment. I'm trying to get anything to survive. And he's telling me step by step what to do. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, okay, psh, you're clear. You're clear. Your mind is going to be fine. We're going to fix you. And uh, go ahead and go back to work. Yeah, get to work. What are you, what are you standing around here for? Get, and so I got to go down and apologize to these guys, which I walked out of that job, I think, four or five times. Just just disappeared. Never come back. No call. No nothing. Just, just left them. And each time I'd come back and they're like, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Here, here, here's the next ticket. We need to get this made. You bet. I'm all over it. Let's do this. And, uh, I did, I did that, uh, after that. And, and I remember I had a, a meeting with psych doctor that, that, uh, teleconference one. And, uh, I told her, <coughs> told her that, uh, God's fixing my brain. He says, I'm going to be okay. He, he, he sent me back to work and I'm working okay. And I, I'm going to be just fine. And it's, it's working actually. I'm, I'm, I'm at work and, uh, I told those guys at work, it was like having to work with, uh, learn how to work again. Cause man, I built them cabinets and panels and everything a hundred times already. And when I got back to work, I couldn't remember how to put the damn thing together. <laughs> <laughs> I I literally was having to re refigure out how the hell to put shit together when I'd already done it so damn many times. It's like I I literally was like I even told him I'm like all right I'm I'm learning to use my brain again all right let me give me time let me let me get my brain to work again and uh, I did I got back to work and started rocking and rolling and uh, I've uh, started doing this on the phone because I had already had everything shut off. I mean, I'm down to bare minimums here at the bunker and, uh, uh I don't have no money and shit. I didn't even have car insurance for the longest time. And, uh, went back to work and had a wage garnishment on top of that. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was brutal. And, uh, but I couldn't work overtime because, uh, I had to do these classes. Yeah. I had to, uh, do this stuff. And, uh, and then here recently, uh, yeah, I walked away from them again. Yeah. 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 I, uh, less than poor guys hanging again. I think somewhere before Thanksgiving. I don't know. These days are a blur. My life's a blur. It has been a blur. But, uh, that's what I need to figure out. I gotta take the fuzziness out of uh, all this. From that paper to right now. Um, I know what in my head happened, but uh, no, there's a lot missing. There's a ton of it missing. And that's what these three days are about. I can't, uh, I can't talk to you guys because it'll be proof. And uh, so I got to get brought up to speed and get those holes filled before I can spread my wings, which I sure in the hell hope I don't get wings because that will be a bitch getting through the airport. Uh, yeah. Uh, he says it doesn't come with a package. Uh, that's that's uh, more of the not so true story stuff. Angels don't have wings. No, no. So I'm glad of that because uh, I, I, it would be weird. I, I don't know if I'd like to walk around with wings on my back. Got cool effect though, but uh, no, no. Uh, still going to need that dust cropper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're uh, <laughs> everybody else in the entourage don't have wings, even if I had them. Okay, so that, yeah, we got to get them uh, with it too. Anyway, uh, yeah, poor Rudolph. That's okay, you know. See, things are clicking. They're 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 starting to fire off. Uh, just haven't quite got them all there, and uh, we're doing good. We're doing good, and uh, 
everybody's going to be just fine. And I'm going to be just fine. And I am so going to miss doing this stuff with you guys. It has been so much fun. I mean, all these times. I mean, we, we did it together. Learned it together. And the father was talking most of the time. Um, he just used my mouth as usual. Uh, it's well practiced, well lubricated. It uh, It's definitely been a pleasure to be able to talk again. Because uh, for the, most of those years uh, up to last Thanksgiving, didn't really talk to people. I uh, worked in a wood shop where you really didn't talk. Can't. The freaking saw's running. And, uh, you know, I don't have a wife or a children, so nobody talk at home. And, uh, so yeah, I got a little bit of talking built up in me. Certainly run that one off, haven't I? Yeah. That's why this has been such a pleasure. Now I'm kind of looking forward to the actual interaction with people. Handshakes and hugs. I, uh, I got to work myself into that one too. So, uh, it, uh, we're not there yet, but we're going to be. I just got to, uh, do a little time here to, uh, figure out what, uh, what's missing and what I need to do to, uh, finish this prep for this package that's coming, but it is coming. And Father is coming to save us. And I'm here to save us. It's about uh, everybody figuring out what's going on. And uh, we will have a joyous Christmas Eve. And then we're going to start the beauty decorating. we got seven years to turn this place into Eden. That's, uh, that's my goal. That's my mission. That's, uh, and at the end of that seven years, uh, I'll be leaving again. And, uh, you'll all be on your own. But, uh, we'll be off on the right foot for once. It's what he wished he could have done with Jesus, but mankind was not smart enough. And uh, it's it's always been that way. Every generation of mankind that the High Councils has ever made, it's an evolving process because the God is a baby. I mean, the God itself has to learn how to make galaxies. The God has to learn how to make a planet. And then it has to figure out how to create life. And then it has to evolve that life to the uh, point that he can educate that life and then once he educates that life then he got to figure to get the, the damn thing to figure out that, that god's there and that's where the three kings comes in and uh this is the best time of any mankind's history it's the second king's coming because uh it's when the kids figure it out and from then on that particular mankind lives in peace and prospers and does many beautiful things. And people quit getting hurt. Children quit getting hurt. I mean, there's still going to be accidents, which we're going to try to minimize, but uh, nothing like before. Nothing like before. So uh, that is where we are. And that is the recap. And this is my last broadcast from this side. And please, kids, take the time to figure out how you want your footprint to go from Christmas. Because uh, it is your path. Every one of you have a path in front of them. What you do with it is yours. No one can tell you what to do with your path. But you. And there's rewards and there's punishments for how you walk it.
Simple as that. That is what uh, every one of us has. I'm in the same boat as y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm pre-approved, but that's only. Uh, you know, I could commit a murder right now. I have free will to do that. And it would totally screw shit up. But I know better. I know my father, and I know what this program's all about. I would never do anything to hurt my father. Because that's what that would do. And I need you guys to realize that too. Don't hurt our father. I mean, you got to remember, the high council is one thing. But we are here because of our father. We want our father to do the best he can. And we are his scorecard. And if you want to think of it as the other team, that's the high council. So, they're the bad guys. Well, you know what I mean. We got to root for our father. We have to back our father. We have to listen to our father. And everything will run fine. The only time it doesn't is if we don't listen to our Father. If we let the High Council trick us off our paths. And they're going to get trickier. It ain't going to be black and white like it was in the past. Now that you guys see it. It's like, oh, hell yes, I could see it easy now. It's going to be a little tougher now, too. Temptation's going to be a little trickier. And uh, they're going to get a little clever. Believe it or not, they're pretty smart. So, uh, uh, but you can outsmart them because you always got your compass. Check everything that comes to your head with your compass and talk to the father. Is that what I should do? Tell me, father. He'll give you a straight ass answer. And be there. No, boy. No, no, no. That's bad. That's bad. No, don't, don't do the 90 mile an hour down the road. No. Okay. Yeah, that's a cool car, but no, that's a bad idea. And then there'll be those that uh, the father wants to see what you're made of. And he'll make you answer that question yourself because uh, he wants to see what you come up with. He ain't going to answer everything. After all, it is training. It's about learning. It's about uh, discovering who you are. So... Uh, Compass doesn't always work. Then you have to work with your heart and know that uh, you you, you want to do the right thing. You just got to discover what's the right thing. Sometimes there's not a right thing. It's just a left or a right. Either way is cool. Don't overthink it. All right? So, that's about as much coaching, and wow, this is probably the longest one ever. Um, this is uh, where I stand, where I've been, and where we're going. All in one video. I, uh, I'll be doing more. Yes, I will. I'll be talking and... Uh, we still got to do that young one for the kids in school when they decide they want to go for the big door. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for the glow package on that one. Um, and uh, there's a, a few other things that I'll be throwing out because, uh, after all, I'll have a lot of time on my hands. I can show these guys what they need to know and phew, nothing. Uh, I'll be entertaining myself with the Ruskies. Oh, I so can't wait to get to Russia. I do want to see that. You know, it's it's always been, oh, them commies are so bad. Oh, those commies. Damn, God's a communist. Communist. Okay, the mouth is starting to fall apart, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I guess that's God saying, okay, stop it. You're getting sides again. I, I got to be neutral. I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, tell Russia. Okay. Anyway, uh, I I just uh, Australia too. Okay. All right. There we go. That's kind of gay. Did it? Did, did that sound gay? Yeah. It wasn't. And y'all stop that. Okay. 
Let's quit making fun of people that do that because they can't help it. They just love to be sensitive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if anybody's sensitive, it's your freaking king that cries all the freaking time. Oh. Okay, moving on, moving on. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is what it is. If we really let our hearts out there, you find out that we're all sensitive. We've just been hiding it. It's the weaker sex thing. It really is. Women always showed it. Men were always afraid of it. Yeah, don't, no, no. Did, did you cry? What the hell? Did, did I see a tear coming? At, dude, go over there. Yeah, weaker sex, dumbasses. You know, they, we, the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie, people. That, uh, plain and simple. They have been kicking our ass for a long time, guys. Anyway, uh, yeah, long class. Well, it is the last one, and a uh, lot to say, a lot to cover. A little bit of crazy land. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep talking because I don't want it to end. <laughs> I know you guys are like, yeah, please don't. I I don't want to do this last, 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 last. I know I did the last flesh walk earlier. Where's Waldo? And uh, now I'm doing the last class. <sighs> That's all right. I'll have classes. And studio is going to be a whole lot better. Okay. I, I am so looking up forward to upgrade okay and uh as if i wasn't beautiful enough i'll be even better yeah 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 freaking guy will have his teeth i am so looking forward to that thing oh man i'm gonna chow down on a steak and rip that thing out like a caveman yeah yep i do pretty good with the few i have <laughs> oh, oh, my battery's running out too. Oh shit, everything's going down. It's going down. I gotta get out of here. Anyway, uh, we gotta, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. Uh, God's like, okay, close it up, boy. Shut her down. Quit yapping. Okay, yeah. I, last one. Last one. All right. I'm gonna let you guys go. Now, nobody cry. All right. I'll do all the crying for you, all right? Can we just leave it at that? I will see you. Now, remember, wait for me to give you the green light. Nobody make a move out of their house until I give you the green light, all right? God be with us all. He always is. Goodbye. <laughs>